Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Meep Sciences channel. The entire project has been conceptualized by Shantani, Binderjit and Afan during the progression as a concept towards the student mentorship program 2024. The current study has been focusing on current advances on plastic recycling using diverse microbial resins. Plastic pollution occurs in two different fronts during the production that is carbon emission and their disposition the contaminants and the physical hazard which impacts both environment and ecosystem and human health replacing petroleum based polymers with bio based polymers is a potential remedy that produces significantly lower carbon emission and energy production requirement About 80% of total global plastic uses constitutes petrochemical plastic such as polyvinyl chloride, polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene and polyethylene terephthalate. So the diagrammatic presentation on the right hand side has been clearly shown that the comparative structure between different derivatives of biodegradable and non-biodegradable plastics. Then what are the different steps which are involved for plastic degradation by involvement of different microbes? There are four basic processes which are involved for to carry out these achievements: the bio deterioration, bio fragmentation, assimilation, and mineralization. Bio deterioration defines the action of microbial communities and other decomposing microbes those who are responsible for the physical and chemical deterioration that has been resulted in a superficial degradation that modifies mechanical physical and chemical features of the plastic molecules whereas biofragmentation refers to the catalytic action that cleave polymeric plastics into oligomers finally dimers and ultimately monomers will be generated by ectoenzymes or free radicals which are being segregated by different microorganisms whereas assimilation characterizes to integrate of molecules by transportation in the cytoplasm in the microbial metabolism so in this particular assimilatory steps the different plastic molecules they are going to get assimilated within the inclusion body of the microorganism through the participation of different microbial enzymes mineralization whereas refers to the complete degradation of the molecules that resulted in the excretion of completely oxidized metabolites with those were the end product like carbon dioxide nitrogen methane and water Now there is a detailed discussion about the bio deterioration how it will allow the degradation of the plastic the bio deterioration seems to be triggered by the formation of microbial biofilm growing on the surface and inside layer of the plastic the development of biofilm is dependent on the composition and structural integrity of the plastic moiety and their derivatives but also on the environmental condition those were physical chemical external factors now let's discuss about the physical deterioration the formation of microbial biofilm is associated to the secretion of extracellular polymeric substances that is exopolysaccharide that reinforce the cohesion of biofilm and the addition of the plastic surface the eps enters the pores microorganisms can able to then grow inside thus alleviating the pore size and provoking cracks that weaken the physical structure and property of the plastic the most predominant microorganism which are involved for the physical deterioration is pseudomonas species in chemical deterioration the microbial community that developed on the plastic may be highly diverse and development of biofilm by it may release the acid compound such as nitrous acid by nitrosomonas species nitric acid by nitrobacter species or sulfuric acid by thiobacillus species 
So these are all chemolithotropic microbial assemblage. Organic acid like oxalic acid, citric acid, fumaric acid, gluconic acid, glucaric acid, uh, glyoxalic acid, oxalic acid may also be released by chemoorganotropic communities. The pH inside the pore is then modified, resulting in a progressive degradation that changes the microstructure of the plastic matrix. Now let's talk about the biofragmentation. The fragmentation of plastic polymers into oligo and monomers can be of various origin, followed by mechanical, physical UV radiation, thermal, chemical, and biologically it can also be possible. Here we focused on biological aspect as a predominant way as a microbiologist. Plastic polymers are molecules with higher molecular weight that cannot cross the cell wall. The microorganism secret different exoenzymes that can catalyze reactions principally at the boundaries of the plastic polymers. The main limit of biofragmentation is the stability of the plastic polymer, which are constituted by a long chain of carbon and hydrogen that contains very balanced changes and charges. To destabilize the local electric charge, bacteria that can break down the plastics usually contain enzymes oxygenase, which can add oxygen to a long chain carbon. So this tabular presentation has been clearly shown that different plastics can be degraded by the excretion of exoenzymes by different ranges of microorganisms from brevibacillus, rhodococcus, pseudomonas, pseudomonas, thermomonospora, and so many, Ralstonia, Piketty, and so many different other bacillus species and streptomyces are also involved. Finally, we need to understand how assimilation and mineralizations are also involved. The formation of monomer does not guarantee the assimilation by microbes as an inclusion bodies. They have to use specific carrier to cross the cell wall and cytoplasmic barrier. Some monomers may stay in the surrounding of microbial cell factories without being assimilated. Inside cells, the plastic monomers are oxidized through the catabolic pathways to produce energy and the cell structure and new biomass. Depending on the microbial abilities to grow in aerobic and anaerobic microenvironment, there exist the three essential catabolic pathways to produce energy to maintain the cellular activity, structural integrity, and growth. The assimilation results in the numerous secondary metabolites for vision that can then be transported outside the microbe that do have not the metabolic capacity to transform it. The secondary metabolites excreted may be used by another cell that can perform further degradation. So mineralization refers to the complete degradation of this plastic moiety that can result in the excretion of completely oxidized metabolites like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, methane, and water, which are being excreted by the microbial biomass. So this has been clearly depicted over here, how these different polymers of plastic has been degraded by means of biological approaches. So usually heterocyclic chain of these polymers are being degraded by abiotic conditions, whereas biotically polyesters and cellulose are being degraded by different means and they will ultimately get bioassimilated in terms of acid, alcohol, carbohydrate. And finally, these bioassimilated molecules, which are the degradatory intermediate products of plastic, can give different biomolecules like methane, carbon dioxide, and cell growth, different carbon residues while they have performed by anaerobic digestions, where under aerobic digestions, CO2, water, biomass can also be get generated as an end product of polymer or plastic material degradation. As a concluding remark and future perspective, what we'd like to say. For the last 30 years, scientists are trying to develop some alternative ways where they can use microbes to degrade these long chain synthetic polymers into their respective monomers. Very few evidences are available where scientists or researchers were able to develop some alternative but there are very few. 
Better knowledge to different steps of plastic degradation by microbes may also help for improving the biodegradation. Even there are several process factors may also be explored in future for a better understanding on the biodegradation of this larger polymer of plastics. By using surface active agent or inducing the microorganism to produce surfactant to allow better attachment of the microorganism or the microbially excreted enzo enzyme on the polymer surface. By blending the polymers which the biodegradable synthetic polymers such as polylactic acid or polycaprolactams. By the pretreatment of the plastic, which includes thermal UV radiation, high energy radiation, and chemical pretreatment. By culturing microorganisms that can efficiently degrade the plastic by following bioaddition activities. And finally, by addition of nutrients that may also be limiting in the microenvironment. So, if microenvironment where plastics are going to get assimilated or they are going to surrounded by the microbes, if they are not properly get nutrition, micro and macronutrient, then the, the microbes may not be get stimulated. And while they are not getting stimulated, they cannot able to secret enzyme, which can ultimately degrade or break down the long chain plastic polymers. So these are the basic preambles the researchers needs to take in care of to establish a better breakdown and degradation of the plastic into the monomeric components to reduce the environmental pollution and their loads. So these are the few references as a further study. If those who are interested, they can go through it. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this session. And if you have any question, anything you can put in the comment, please do subscribe and like and comment to encourage our team for having more videos in future. Thank you very much.